When I was um, 15, I snuck into my first fetish ball and I saw this like super skinny, you know, uh, pale kid with nipple piercings strung up lotus position from the ceiling. And I saw people doing flesh hooks, tugs and all sorts of stuff. And I really did fall in love with that. And I said to myself, one day that has to be something that I want to be a part of. Well, my very first suspension was in front of people I didn't even know, but that's probably a good thing. I'm slightly more of an exhibitionist. so. The idea of running, and I'm a performer too, so the idea of running through my head of, I have to go up. There's no way that I can't go up. I have to do this. I started helping out, um, you know, assisting with suspensions, helping with setup and breakdown and everything. I actually did my first suspension when I was 19, and the second, I, I, it, the piercings hurt, and before I got pulled up there, I almost second guessed myself, but I'll tell you what, the second I went off the ground, I decided that. It was something that I had to do, and I had to do a lot. It was a really life-changing experience for me, and I can see that expression in other people's faces when I do it, and that's what makes me happy. Watching them experience their first time seeing a suspension while I'm on stage, and I can look down at the crowd and I can see people's faces, and some of them are disgusted, but most of them are just in awe of what it is. people to be able to really experience a suspension like I do. I want them to be able to throw me around. I want them to be able to tug on my feet, you know. I want to be able to like be thrown in a circle and high five people on the way around, you know. I like that. My mom comes to a lot of my suspensions. In fact, my mom held skin for the piercings for one of my suspensions. Um, she loves it. Uh, would I ever retire from it? I don't want to. I would never want to. It's too much fun for me. Wait for me.